How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm currently in George Washington National Forest in Virginia doing a little overnighter with my car camper and a little hiking too. I'm at a nice camp spot here at the Little Fort Campground and I wanted to show you my car camper. I use this for fishing trips and camping trips for dispersed camping mostly in national forests and stuff like that. I have stayed in Walmarts but I really don't like that. Uh, I'll go over everything in here and show you what I have. We will start off with the bed because this was the most important aspect of the camper for me. I wanted it to be comfortable and this is just as comfortable as my bed at home. It is a Walmart blanket that I've doubled over. I've got a little flat sheet and then a massage table sheet with a four inch memory foam tri-folding mattress. And underneath of that, you can see there's a bed platform. I made this bed platform and it's pretty much a simple folding bed platform with a hinge up top. And that way I can crank this into recliner mode, which I'll show you in a few minutes. You'll also notice right here, I have a big three season two person tent. Like if I was going to be staying on a tent pad like that, but I'm not doing that this trip, but I do keep it right here. and actually serves dual purpose because what it does is it keeps the bed platform, which I just showed you right here, about five to six inches away from this part of the, the car. And what that does is when I'm sleeping in here at night, when the hatch is closed, my feet would be hitting this part of the hatch, the top of the hatch when it's down. So what this does is it keeps my bed pushed all the way up and that way I can have my feet sitting straight up with no problem, nothing interfering with them. In this big bag here, I have two sleeping bags. This is a 20 degree hammock gear top quilt. And then I have a 32 degree Western Mountaineering regular sleeping bag with a hood. Uh, both of those in conjunction are more than enough for me to sleep in here comfortably down to probably zero. And when I'm using the sleeping bags on the bed, I just take this and I just stuff it down in here and that just kind of stays there. Into the dry food storage, it's just a big Rubbermaid container. I've got it propped up with this little lip here so I can have it open and you know dig into it and get whatever I need out. You can see a few things I've got, bread, chips, rice, soup, pistachios, snacks, peanut butter. Notice I keep a little space right here behind my dry food storage open. And the reason being, if I go fishing and I use my waders, I'll take off my regular shoes and I'll just throw them right there. Then I can sit on the tailgate and change them out when I'm done. Another very important piece of car camping kit for me is my fishing rod. I always have a fishing rod in the car. So anywhere I stop, I can fish as long as I have a license in that state. And then when I go to sleep in the bed, I just take the fishing rod, move it over to that side. That's it. Now I guess we'll go to the driver's side of the car, show you what I have in here. In the driver's side door, I keep a knife for personal protection, some hand sanitizer, a couple lighters, chapstick, and a pen. You can see I've got a Coleman cooler. I'll show you what I have inside here. See some cheese, some meat, condiments, jelly, pudding pack, some little Crystal Light drink mix, a steak for later tonight, some eggs, some butter, a couple juices, I use these containers and what that does is it keeps all my food and stuff separate from my ice. You can see I use big ice blocks that I froze at home. I also have some extra sodas down there. If you're using loose ice, these things would keep all your food separate from your wet ice. You can also see I've got a pair of Crocs right here that I can get to very quickly and I can just put these on real quick to get out and pee or do whatever I need to do. I've got a cheap Walmart chair here that I'll be setting up in a few minutes. It always just stays right here. Just behind my camp chair, I keep all of my window covers. These are the paper covers for these windows and the big cover for the front window. You can see I've also got a roll of paper towels stashed behind the seat belt there. In between my dry food box and my pods of clothes, I have my whole kitchen set up. This is everything. I'm just gonna open it up real quick. And you can take a look and see what I have. There's a grill, plastic plate, paper plates, skillet, small pot. Here are my two pods for my clothes. This is socks and underwear. And this big one has pretty much everything else in it. 
a couple pairs of pants, sweatpants, some shirts, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, a lighter jacket, and a hoodie. Underneath that, you can see that's where I keep my laptop. And the reason I do that is because you never know there's a laptop under there if you're just looking in the car. Moving right along, we're gonna show you what's on the passenger side now. On the passenger side of the door, I keep a light synthetic towel, a spray bottle that I use for spraying myself off or brushing my teeth. I also have a funnel here, which makes my water filling up these smaller bottles a lot easier. I usually just use these. I don't really like the big water containers. They're kind of hard to deal with. Behind my water containers, you can see I've got a pair of waders and then a pair of wading boots. And in here, this would be for dirty clothes. Also in here is one of those scrubber bags to do laundry out on the road. For the front seat itself, it's kind of my catch-all. You can see I've got my day pack slash fishing pack. I just got back from a little hike to the top of the mountain. And I've got some camera gear, some batteries here, stuff I just grabbed throughout the day. I also have a big down jacket that I hang over top here. In between the passenger seat and the car door, I keep one of these folding little camp stools. And this is great to pair up with my regular camp chair. I can use this to prop my feet up and lounge out. Or if someone else is in camp and they don't have a seat, they can use this. Behind the passenger seat, I've got a small Ziploc bag with some fishing stuff in it in case I go fishing. A small little tackle box here. Behind that, you can see there's a plastic container. This has like extension cords, stuff if I'm gonna be at like a regular campground and I can actually plug in that has an outlet. I keep my trout net right here. It slides in and out perfectly. I've got a piece of wood that is holding up my bed platform on this side. Keeps it nice and level. And then you can see I have the headrest to the passenger seat, which I keep off unless I have a passenger in. If I do, then I just bring this out, fold up the bed, and I can have a passenger. I keep this in the car, not just for the passenger in case I have one, but also it doubles. I put it on top of that wood and it leans up against the passenger seat. And then you can see my bed is propped up kind of in a little bit of a recliner mode. Just below the left side of my bed, I have a small cereal container, which acts as my trash can. This keeps all the smells of the trash concealed inside this container, which is nice because the car is pretty small. So all the smells of the trash would kind of overwhelm you, I think, if I didn't have this. And it's got a little opening there. You can see there's some trash in there already. I can be laying in bed and just reach over the side here, open that up, throw something in there, close it up and be good to go. Behind the trash can and underneath of the bed in this container is all of my backpacking stuff. So all the stuff I need to go overnight backpacking or multi-night backpacking is in here. And then here's my Gossamer gear pack. There's the pack right there. Behind the middle console, in between my cooler, which is normally here, and the backpacking gear, I have a Jackery 240. This is what I use to charge my laptop and my GoPro batteries, really anything else. It works great for me. It's just enough power too. Right behind the cooler and underneath of this seat is where I keep all of the electronic accessories for the Jackery. That way I can just pull them out when I need them, charge the Jackery up, and we're good to go. One of the last things I'm gonna show you is my bathroom. This pretty much is my whole bathroom right here. On this little outside pocket, I've got the stuff I use every day, deodorant, toothbrush, a little bit of meds that I take daily. Inside here, there's some wet ones, some tissue, the washcloth, different kinds of medications. There's a mirror, tweezers, cortisone, neosporin. And that just sticks and stays right inside my glove box. I also have a poop kit. Sorry, it's a little later in the day, but I forgot to show you guys these things. This is sitting on the side of my bed. This is my pee bottle. I've got a battery operated fan that has a nice big clip so I can clip it to things like a sun visor. Also keep a container down here of all of my wires, my GoPro battery chargers, laptop chargers, just wires in general. And then I'll have a little cubby down here where I've got some chapstick. I'll show you the stuff that I keep underneath of the bed. Move my tent over to the side. Take my bed frame and we'll lift it up, drop it on top of the dry food. That gives me access to down here. 
I've got a blue tarp. And this is just a Walmart folding TV table. And this is great to cook on. Folds up nice and small, fits perfectly under there. I also have basement storage underneath of everything back here. This is my basement access. I've got a piece of PVC pipe that I cut to prop this whole piece up so I can have access to under here. I've got some uh, fire starting stuff. There's a shovel in case I need to dig a hole or dig my car out of something. There's a jack. There's a pump down here for tires. I've got some cordage back there, some measuring tape, hammer, pliers, just general tools. Uh, some zip ties over here. And that'll pretty much do it besides the tire, spare tire. I have a Lucy Lantern that's solar. I keep this on the dash of the car when I'm driving at all times, so it's always charged. This little headlamp, and I keep it up here attached to the sun visor, so it's always there. And what I can do is I can just turn it on and it shines a light right down into my lap. It's just really perfect. And I just stick it back up there when I'm not using it. Another great thing about the Scion is it has two sunroofs. So I have one sunroof here and one sunroof there. I can look out at the stars overnight and it looks like I'll have a good view. I'll show you. That's the view looking out at the sunroof. No trees obstructing, so I should see some stars tonight if it stays clear.